So if you've ever had a MacBook, then you know about the MagSafe power connector. This, in my opinion, is a great way to charge a device. It's safe, it's easy, and it's quick as well. So today I'm going to show you how to make a magnetic charger. To fit your phone or really anything else, you would want to charge this way. First, grab a cable that you want to modify. I'm using a micro USB cable because it will work with many different devices. But you could, in theory, do this with an iPhone lightning cable or a standard DC power jack. First, cut the cable and strip down the wires. You'll likely find four wires. As you can see, the red and black wires carry the power. So cut off all the others, then strip down the red and black ones. Now take your USB, or whatever type of cable end you have, and crack open the casing. Ideally, you want to make this as small as possible to be less noticeable when in your device. So strip down the wires and grab two small magnets. I'm using some small buckyballs. Then grab a straw and cut off two pieces as long as the wires that are coming out of your power end. Then slip them onto the wires. Now with the magnets still attached to each other, slip the magnets down inside the straw with the wires wedged into the sides like this. You could try soldering the wires to the magnets, but that might damage the magnets because heat will do that to magnets. You should be left with two magnets side by side separated by straws. Now fill up the gaps with hot glue and wrap some tape around it to secure it like this. Now we just need to do basically the same thing to the other end of the wire. However, before you wedge the magnets into the straws, make sure they line up with the other magnets on the end like this. Also make sure the black wire goes to black and the red to red, or else it won't charge. When everything's done, it should look like this. As you can see, when I tried to connect it the wrong way, it doesn't work. But when I flip it around, it snaps right into place. Now you can charge your phone or really anything else hassle free. It might even be better to use this on something bigger than a phone because you wouldn't notice the tiny bit sticking out as much. Well if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, also click that subscribe button for cool new videos twice a week. And check out my Facebook and Instagram as well. So that's all I've got for today guys, so I'll see you in the next one.